Good evening. My name is Roddy Stainforth, principal at Dixie Heights High School. Welcome to Northern Kentucky for this very special occasion. The graduation ceremony is very formal, elegant, and a traditional event. I would like to ask everyone to treat this evening's commitment with the respect and dignity it deserves. Please take this moment to silence your phones and refrain from using any electronic or artificial noisemakers. We do not want to take away anything or distract from our graduates' accomplishments. In a few moments, the class of 2023 will proceed into the arena. Please stand during the processional and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance, the National Anthem, and the scene of the evening.
join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
I apologize for some technical difficulties, but I think our choir is good enough to do it without the music, aren't we? Let's go. In an ad lib, I would like to extend a thank you to the incredible grace that our choir just showed. Uh, when you have technical difficulties, audio difficulties, and we don't have the controls here on stage with us, and our choir showed incredible grace, so I would like to give them a round of applause again for that moment. Well, good evening. I'm very proud to stand before you as the principal of Dixie Heights High School and also a graduate of Dixie Heights High School. We come together this evening as a school and a community for the commencement ceremony and the celebration of the class of 2023. They deserve it. Please join me in welcoming our distinguished guests seated on the stage. First, Dr. Henry Webb, Superintendent, Kenton County School District. Ms. Shauna Harney, Chief Academic Officer, Kitten County School District. Ms. Tara Drysdale, Assistant Superintendent, Kitten County School District. Ms. Mary Beth Huss, Assistant Superintendent, Kitten County School District. Ms. Jessica Jinn, Kitten County School District Board of Education Chairperson. And Ms. Shannon Harold, Kenton County School District Board Member. And it is with a great pleasure that I introduce Dixie staff, the members of the Dixie Heights Administrative Team. First, we have Mr. Andrew Wise, Assistant Principal. Dr. Vivian Gonzalez Baden, Assistant Principal. Mr. Ken Taylor, Assistant Principal. Mr. Thad Dusing, College and Career Readiness Coordinator. Ms. Nicole Hoffman, Guidance Counselor. Mr. Travis Ogles, Guidance Counselor. And somewhere in the stands, we have the lost member of our team who's on maternity leave, Ms. Caitlin Miller, Guidance Counselor. Now, it is also my privilege to introduce some very special members in our audience tonight. At this time, I would like to ask all active and veteran members of all branches of the United States military to please stand and be recognized for your service. We appreciate your service and hold your acts of sacrifice, duty, and honor in the name of the United States of America in the highest regard. Additionally, we have one student in the class of 2023 that has already made the honorable decision to enlist in the United States military. Chris Hall, please stand up so we can applaud your patriotism. Graduates, your parents and guardians share this evening with you. Their pride and joy in your achievements reflect their support, their encouragement, and their love. A special thank you goes out to each mom, dad, and guardian for entrusting their children in our care. It has truly been an honor. 
At this time, I would like to invite all parents, guardians of the graduating student to please stand and be recognized. Parents and guardians, on behalf of your children, congratulations on a job well done and thank you for your patience and perseverance in raising your children the right way. For many of you, this celebration spans generations. I'm sure we have some grandparents and great-grandparents to thank for everything that has gone into the development of these young men and women. At this time, I would like grandparents and great-grandparents of our graduates to stand and be recognized. To the class of 2023, teaching is a very noble profession, and your current and past teachers also share tonight with you in a very special way. Their dedication, hard work, wisdom, and commitment have served to challenge you, setting before you a standard by which your efforts could be measured. They care more about you and work harder than you'll ever know. I would like to take this time to publicly thank those educators. Will all the Dixie faculty and any teacher present with us this evening in the audience please stand to be recognized. <laughs> Distinguished guests, fellow administrators, teachers, families, friends, and most especially the graduating class, as principal of Dixie Heights High School, it is indeed an honor to share this occasion with you. At this time, we will enjoy a musical selection performed by the Dixie Heights Choir under the direction of Miss Faith Deal. This will be followed by a selection performed by the Dixie Heights Band under the direction of Miss Sarah Shamlin.
Every year we have a special commencement speaker deliver a special message to our graduating class. This year's commencement speaker came into our building like a tornado this past spring when we partnered up with the Cincinnati Reds and PNC Bank for the Murals with a Mission Project. He worked with over 150 of our students using art as a vehicle to bring the community together. His positive energy and uplifting message resonated within our building. He saw the beauty, talent, and value in every one of the students he connected with. He is affectionately known at our school as Mr. B. Please give a big welcome to Mr. Brent Billingsley, CEO and founder of Art, Reconciliation, Truth, Empowerment. Good evening, parents, students, faculty. Let me, I'm, I gotta try something real fast. Parents, feel free to jump in. I, I gotta ask the students a question. So, uh, what is a canvas? Y'all messing up? What is a canvas? What is a canvas? What is a canvas? Ah, uh, that's, that's a little bit better. We'll, we'll get back to that. So, this is an honor and a privilege, and thank you for this. So I'm an artist, and I thought about what I should say to pour something to your lives as you graduate. And I believe that you are all artists as well. I believe that you are artists and that the world is your canvas. But I believe that everybody in this room that can hear my voice is also an artist. And what I have to say is indicative of that. So I'm gonna give you something to meditate on about what it feels like to be an artist. See, I am an artist. And you know what though? I never used to consider myself an artist. Although I went through all the trouble and I paid all of the money to get an art degree. And it wasn't that I doubted my ability. I knew I was good. I knew that I was better than some who had decided to make a living as an artist. So, why did I not allow myself to be called that which I was educated? I debated that perhaps it was the uncertainty driving from my super ego, my ego, and my id. And what I did was allow myself to convince me that we were not good enough. And that's right. People would see my work and say, hey, so you're an artist. And my reply would be, not really. Casually dismissing my gift, my calling, and my purpose. And when my epiphany finally surfaced, I was perplexed at what I had done. See, if I did not allow you to call me an artist, then I could not fail as one. And the uncertainty of failure outweighed the ambiguity of success. And to be honest, it's easier just to do less. To show up, put time in, and get a check. You see, purpose has a cost. I know a lot of people that want to be the boss, but would rather not assume their responsibility. A lot of people want to win the battle but they don't want to get dirty. They will get flirty with purpose. They'll get involved with no commitment. Your gift should dictate how you talk. Your realized purpose should dictate how you walk. In our very conscious state of being, where we're often questioned our why, how can I maximize my potential? 
if I'm afraid to try. I mean, a lot of people want a second chance on life, but nobody wants to die. And I don't mean die as in decaying of flesh. I mean death by complacency and not giving the world your best. And then I met somebody who believed in me. And they spoke into the very essence of my existence. So with persistence, I spoke it, I named it, and I claimed it. I felt as if love had just spoken to the winds in these old bones. Well, they had breath again. And they challenged me to embrace that which has the ability to make room. They challenged me to groom my vernacular and to improve my rhetoric so that my speech reflected that I was artistically educated. To surround myself around people who wanted to pour into my vision. See, in the beginning, if you're like me, then people will try to use you for your gift. So they may live to their own statuses so they can rest. That this person did not want anything from me except for me to be my best. And their character had no motive, no, do this for me, or do you know what we should do? When friendship is true, it breaks through all adversity. They challenged me to paint consistently, to shake every hand and to high five every baby, to attend work shops, to handle a work load, to do homework for things to which I apply, to not lie and wait, and to network in certain arenas, to lay the ground work for opportunities and situations. And the grandest of metaphorical emancipation that when you work, you are worthy of your wages. And that this artwork, it comes in stages. Can you hear the reoccurring theme in the room? Hard work can be talent, high IQs, and silver spoons. They challenged me to shiftly shift the paradigm, and now I find beauty in the ubiquity of art, engagement, and life and purpose thereof. I am an artist. Because of how I put paint to canvas, and even if the masses think I am not, I've got nothing to prove less to the woman that gave me breath than that I find rest. I am an artist because I let my voice ring, though I've been told on numerous occasions that I definitely cannot sing, and I'll and I be trying to. I am an artist because I know that fear is not real, yet it exists in our ideology. Somebody told me that the cemetery was the wealthiest place on earth because it is filled with billions of dollars of ideas. But there is lack of confidence, vision, and implementation. But where would technology be if Tim Berners-Lee never found a way to establish the World Wide Web? If Galileo never argued that the Earth orbited the sun? You know, he was considered touched and had to spend the rest of his life on house arrest. If Orville and Wilbur never embarked on flight, if Harriet had not ran in the middle of the night and found that railroad of freedom. Leonardo da Vinci's experiments in tone gradation, light, shade, innovation in perspective and composition change painting forever and forever I am grateful I am an artist because my coloring is colorful and outside the lines. Because I stopped trying to find the remote control and or the controller and I started finding books. Because when I cook, 
It is artistically motivated because after it's played it, I will post that creation, hashtag beat Bobby Flay, hashtag my current situation. I am an artist because it is an outlet for my emotions. When I'm going through something, it allows drainage and it relieves unneeded stress. When you feel pressed on every side, you need something to alleviate or deviate from anxiety. They teach us in dialectical behavior therapy that focus, fun, and distraction can distract some from what's called maladaptive ideations. I am an artist because I promote the application of laughter. You know, it's hard to be sad when you're smiling. It's like it's hard to be happy when you're crying. It's like it's hard to tell the truth when you're lying. I am an artist because of how I met shoes with dirt because of how I braided my baby girl's hair, or how I till the dirt and do season, things will grow. Because I go against norms and I challenge isms. Because I have broken out of psychological super maximum security prisons. Because I overcame by identity crisis, depression, and ambivalence. I almost went insane. Because now, I know my name, and I'm not afraid to change who I am on the outside to match whom I've always been. Because I win, and I accept the people that love me for everything that I am, and I love the ones that hate me for everything that I am not. Because I will knock. So much you will open the door just so I will stop because I make a perfect cup of coffee with the perfect amount of sugar and the perfect amount of cream. And it seems I have the perfect amount of dreams and I have the perfect amount of time because I find the positives in so many negatives because I know that failure and defeat are relatives and they're coming over for Thanksgiving with setbacks. Talking about past the gravy. Because I'm allergic to being lazy. Because I'm open to improve on what I lack. Because I accept the fact that hurt people hurt people. Because I believe that you should show forgiveness in the sequel. Because I feel culturally competent. I'm not afraid to ask questions. I don't shy away from conversations. Because I dare judge, challenge the judge's opinion, and my closing arguments let the record show. Because I'm not afraid to go where some won't. Because I'm not afraid to give hugs where some don't. I am an artist because I control my situation. My situation does not control me because I am free, because I can shop effortlessly, especially when I'm spending somebody else's money, because I use honey in my tea instead of sugar, because I've conquered the dream killers. Coulda, shoulda, woulda, and one day I will, because I know how to be still and speak to the mountain. Because I found a fountain that flows like a raging river because I vote with vigor and I plan to leave it all on the table. Because I approach life with stupendous tenacity and I defy the very laws of gravity. I am an artist. Because it's not over when I'm tired. It's over when I'm finished. Because I fought through the darkness and now I embrace the light. Because I fight and there is no quit in me, I've climbed out of the jaws 
of defeat wounded but not broken, two black eyes swollen, and I will look at the enemy and say, is that all you got? Because I am not my biological father's son, I take care of my responsibilities. Because seemingly, everybody is an artist in their own way. And it would behoove us to say to the person in the mirror that whatever you desire, your wants or your needs, whatever makes your heart bleed, I'm an artist because I feed my body the proper nourishment. I'm an artist because whenever I need encouragement, I hit up my support system. Because I got my epiphany that every child is a seed. And they're in need of being planted, watered, and nourished. And if given a thousand years, you won't have a tree, you'll have a forest full of strength and vibrancy. Because believe you me, I wear my heart on my sleeve. I'm an artist because I believe that we are nothing without each other. We are all sisters and brothers because we have been birthed from the same clay. And I dare say that with the passing of time, I'm sure history would tell the tale that many battles were fought, but this war, we did not fail because this yoke is easy and because this burden is light. I had strength to pull the cart, and perfectly I fit the harness. And I'll walk with ordered steps. I'll lead this world with no regrets. And I'll be taking my respect because I am an artist. Thank you, Dixie Heights. Thank you, parents. Thank you, graduating class. Appreciate you guys. Thank you, Mr. B. As we move forward with the ceremony, I have some final words for the class of 2023. Class of 2023, you made it. Tonight, we recognize your accomplishments, your talents, and your toughness. You've su successfully navigated a difficult four years to be sitting here tonight. Not only are you the first graduating class I get to stand before as principal, you are the class that restored normalcy to school. You are the class that restored traditions that were lost back in 2020. I will always remember the class of 2023. You showed up here tonight as students. You will leave as alumni, joining a community of colonels that dates back to the first graduating class 85 years ago. I ask, don't forget where you came from. These early chapters, and these are the early chapters of your life, have helped shape who you are today, who you want to be tomorrow, and have given you the tools to be successful no matter what your life's pursuit may be. In thinking about all of the adventures that await you, I ask that you keep three simple things in mind. Have a kind heart. As American author and psychiatrist Theodore Isaac Rubin wrote, kindness is more important than wisdom. And the recognition of this is the beginning of wisdom. This simple statement is so powerful and yet so important. We are facing challenges in our local communities, in our state, in our country, and in our world, none of which will be solved without kindness. As it is, kindness will allow people with different views and perspectives to come together and be the change the world needs. Have a kind heart. Next, have a stout work ethic. The ability to work hard, show up on time, be collaborative, and see things to completion are all of the different attributes that make up a work ethic. Excelling in these areas will help you shine in a positive light and will allow you to stand out from the crowd. As the television host and TV anchor Mike Rowe once said, work ethic is important because unlike intelligence, Unlike athleticism, charisma, and any other natural attribute, work ethic is a choice. And it's a choice you can make every day, and you can choose to take this world on in whatever role you would like. Lastly, keep a positive outlook. 
The third thing that I've asked, I believe, is the most important. I know that we live in a world where so much attention is paid to the negative things that are going on. Much of it is a product of our media and social media outlets. But remember, there is so much more positive going on around you than there is negative. As the character Albus Dumbledore stated in the Harry Potter series, happiness can be found even in the darkest times if only one remembers to turn on the light. And so I'm asking all of you today, please turn on the light. Whether it be a small flash of light, the giant beam of a spotlight, or a brilliant ray of sunshine, please find the positives in your world and turn on the light. These three simple things will allow you to move forward, thrive, and succeed in the world. And those are my words of encouragement to you, the members of the class of 2023. I know that you will go on to do great things. We are all so proud of all of the things you have achieved individually and collectively. And I want to say to each and every one of you, congratulations and thank you. Make it a great life or not, that choice is yours. I know everybody is getting anxious to walk across this stage and grab that piece of paper you worked so hard for. But first, I want to welcome Dr. Vivian gonzalez Baden to explain the types of Latin recognition that will be bestowed upon our graduates this evening. We're almost to the good part. All right. All of our graduates will receive the Dixie Heights Diploma. They have successfully completed at least 28 credits of coursework meeting both the state requirements as well as the Dixie Heights High School requirements. Furthermore, graduating seniors have the opportunity to earn additional honor, honors designations using the cum laude system. Cum laude is a Latin term that means with honor. It is used to refer to students who have met high academic standards at the time of graduation and are receiving their diploma. There are three honors that are bestowed upon our graduates. Cum laude means with honors. These students have a final weighted GPA of greater than or equal to a 3.5. They are wearing bronze and white cords tonight. Magna cum laude means with great honor. These students have a final weighted GPA of greater than or equal to a 3.8. They also must complete a minimum of two AP or dual credit classes, and these students are wearing silver and white cords this evening. Summa cum laude means with greatest honor. These students have a final weighted GPA greater than or equal to a 4.2. Students must also complete five AP or dual credit classes from four out of the six academic areas, including English, science, math, world languages, social studies, and or visual or performing arts. These students are wearing gold and white cords tonight. Student involvement is also an important part of the Dixie High School experience. You will also see in your program various courts and stoles that have been earned by members of the class of 2023 for their participation in nationally recognized honor societies. We congratulate all of the students for all of their participation and honors. All right. Here's the big message. Dr. Webb, board members, members of the Dixie Heights community, it is my honor to attest to the fact that these members of the class of 2023 have fulfilled all of the graduation requirements as set forth by the Commonwealth of Kentucky and the Kenton County Board of Education and therefore have earned the diplomas they are about to receive. We will now begin the presentation of diplomas.
Isaiah Aiden Adams. Yasmin Alsweda. Alsweda. Braden James Alexander, summa cum laude. Autumn Renee Alosio, summa cum laude. Maria Del Carmen Alvarez Solares, summa cum laude. Jonathan Thomas Angel. Gabriela Carlita Antonio. Rima Salat Asad Magna Cum Laude. L. Babansky. Alex Claire Bachinski. Jaden Lynn Baker. Catherine Baker. Haney Basta, magna cum laude. Morgan Nicole Bavaro. Monroe Marie Beck. Celeste Beltran. Chloe Joyce Bennett. Elliot Grace Benzman. Samantha Taylor Berman, magna cum laude. Paige McKenzie Besaw. Eleanor Magdalene Best, magna cum laude. Wilson Douglas Best. Gabriel Alexander Bingaman, summa cum laude. Caitlin Marie Bishop. Diploma is being presented by her father, Thomas Bishop, faculty member at Dixie Heights High School. <laughs> Belvis Boandua Bissimwa. Braden Meyer Blackburn, cum laude. Caitlin Elizabeth Blackwood. Ian Brody Blair, summa cum laude. Jacob Bach, cum laude.
Isaac William Keith Bomer. Lily Shea Bonick. Brian Aiden Bono, magna cum laude. Ethan Daniel Bosley, cum laude. Tristan Patrick Bowman. Chloe Nicole Brady, magna cum laude. David Joseph Brandel, magna cum laude. Charlize Kathleen Broswell. Emma Murray Bronstein. Helen Meredith Brennan, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Marie Brewer, summa cum laude. Reed Aspen Brixey. Alyssa Madison Brockman, summa cum laude. Ethan Thomas Brown. Jonathan Joseph Brown. Shelby Ann Bruner, summa cum laude. Caden Buker. Emma Rose Burns. Sailor Reese Burris. Cameron Lee Caldwell. Kendall Marie Carr. Faith Leah Kasky, cum laude. Diploma is being presented by her father, Christopher Kasky, teacher at Simon Kenton. Yahida Castrolan. Brianna Jasmine Francis Chapman. Madeline Rose Clark. Ian Michael Cliff. Keegan Hollis Cliff. Jalen Maurice Conley. Kylie Ray Conover. Jaden Cook. Christiana Kelly Harley Cooper.
Bethany Ann Cray, summa cum laude. Cassidy Deshawn Crenshaw. Kamara Raven Crooms. Maite Cruz Escamilla. Rebecca Nicole Cundiff. Thong Lian Kung. Mason Dahi. Hannah Rose Dahlenberg, cum laude. Cheyenne Reese Davidson. Yadiel De Jesus. Rebecca Marie DeVore. Trenton Timothy Demon. Landon James Doherty. Michael Jason Doherty. Aiden Claire Dorman, magna cum laude. Leanne Page Dressman, magna cum laude. Alexandra Ara Dorisette, cum laude. Austin Corey Edwards. Austin Joseph Eichstadt. Brennan Wade Elam. Abigail Lee Elliott, summa cum laude. Max Christopher Elliott. Ayana Sequoia Ellison. Anna Louise Engelman, summa cum laude. Diploma is being presented by her mother, Brenda Engelman, faculty member at Summit View Elementary School. Ariana Massengale Epping. Scarlett Murray Ernie. Nathaniel Scott Estenfelder, cum laude. Jay Estep, cum laude. Matthew Dylan Etler. Skyler Morgan Faith, cum laude. Katie Jill Fagan, summa cum laude. Diploma is being presented by her mother, Kelly Fagan, teacher at Kaywood Elementary School. Catherine Elizabeth Farley.
Julia McKenzie Farrell. Renee Elizabeth Fee. Peyton Schuyler Fink. Joseph Flower. Brady James Foley. Christian William Foley. Kirsten Marie Foley. Abigail Brooklyn Forte, summa cum laude. Sarah Foster. McKenna Ann Francis. Melanie Marie Freeman. Trace John Fry, cum laude. Sterling Buck Gaddis, magna cum laude. Lance Douglas Ganshirt. Marion Rose Gerard. Bennett Patrick Garrick. Kevin Davis Glass. Benjamin Michael Glasscock. Dallas Savardo Glover. Jackson Getz, magna cum laude. Owen Anthony Getz, magna cum laude. Giovanni Woods Gregg. Roman Christopher Gregg. Xavier West Gregg. Anna Grace Groendyke, cum laude. Tristan Lorraine Gunther, magna cum laude. Gavin Guffey. Aurora Gullet. Jenna Lindsay Hammerly, diploma being presented by her mother, Jennifer Cooley, teacher at Kaywood Elementary. Christopher Michael Hall. Cheyenne K. Hall. Christian Hall, cum laude. Logan Hall. Yeah. 
Emma Riley Haney, cum laude. Corey Stephen Hansen. Gabrielle Grace Harmon, magna cum laude. Troy Logan Harmon. Jameson Randall Harris, cum laude. Kobe Thomas Harris. Giovanni Regine Harvey. Abby Suzanne Hawes, magna cum laude. Abigail Sue Head. Kenyal August Hensley. Emily Sue Herbst. Said Herrera Estrada. Caleb Michael Hinkle. Denver Ray Edward Hogan. Isaac Christopher Holland. Ashley Marie Holt. Brianna Lee Holt. Aubrey. Jane Hopkins, summa cum laude. Christian J. Huang, cum laude. Olivia Hubbard. Madison Sierra Huff. Jordan James Holsey. Ashton Taylor Ivy. Jennifer Alejandra Jimenez, cum laude. Lily Brooke Henry. Diploma is being presented by her mother, Jennifer Henry, teacher at Dixie Heights High School. Litsi Marisol Jimenez, magna cum laude. Lucas Robert Johnson. Samaj Malik Johnson. J. Custer Capis, cum laude. Michael A. Castle. Colin Foster Kazmaier. Magna cum laude. Yeah. 
Cameron Thomas Kelly. Diploma is being presented by his mother, Sheila Kelly, faculty member at Scott High School. Delaney Renee Kelm. Rodney J. Kennedy. Writer John Kennedy, cum laude. <clears throat> Zoe Renee Kidd. <clears throat> Alexis Jade Killian. Griffin Robert Clare, magna cum laude. Zachary Allen Klein. Hold on. <coughs> Noah Casper Koenig, magna cum laude. Diploma is being presented by his father, Alex Koenig teacher at Dixie Heights High School. <laughs> Eve Stephanie Concho Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Abigail Marie Kopp, Magna Cum Laude. Diploma is being presented by her mother, Jennifer Kopp, teacher at Hinsdale Elementary. Preston Francis Kramer. Paul Anthony Kreinbrink, summa cum laude. Ali Justina Kriegi, magna cum laude. Adam Michael Krutzkamp, cum laude. Alaren Marie Krusey, cum laude. Caden Richard Lehmeyer, magna cum laude. Malachi Cortez Lemkin. David Allen Lancaster. Owen Daniel Lawrence. Savannah Sky Lawson. Sarah Grace Legg, summa cum laude. Robin Leanne. Tiel Leanne. Stella Joy Linville. Katerina Amelia List, summa cum laude. Kevin Adam Long, summa cum laude. Yeah. 
Maya K. Long, cum laude. Matthew Wayne Long. Blake Long, cum laude. Ella Lashavio. Jeremiah Lucas Morales. Fibian Magosha. Gael Kapinga Malonda, magna cum laude. Jordan Elizabeth Memo, magna cum laude. Dylan C. Manning. Seth Gregory Markham. Christina Ann Marsh, summa cum laude. Brenna Ann Martin. Lauren and Martin Cum Laude. Samantha Akasha Sky Mason. Isaac Owen Massey Cum Laude. Manuela Matar, cum laude. Dylan McDonald. Casey Allen McKinney. Haley Marie McNerney, magna cum laude. Ella Madison Jade Mesmer, cum laude. Clarissa May Miller, summa cum laude. Stephanie Elise Miller. Harley Renee Minch. Sidi Mohammed, cum laude. Sylvia Mojica. Ashton Antonio Montañez. Armando Ismael Montes. Sophia Brandt Moon. Quinlan Reese Moore. Riley James Moore. Tiasia Mosley.
Liam Andrew Mullen, cum laude. Ellie Murray. McKenna Mutonwiza, summa cum laude. Haley Danielle Nash. Liliana Jade Catherine Needham. Caroline Ann Newhouse. Alyssa Aki Nicholas. Jason Robert Norvell. Ryan Lawson Noyes. Alexandra Faith Knuckles, cum laude. Carly Samantha Nornberg, magna cum laude. Emily Rayanna Lynn O'Banion, summa cum laude. Veronica Luis Orr, cum laude. Miriam, Orte Miriam Ortega, magna cum laude. Ella Jean Osborne, cum laude. Jacob Matthew Osborne. Nicholas Hayden Ottaway, cum laude. Lauren Mackenzie Paget. Paul Patchman. Jatsia Pence. <laughs> Ava Marie Perry. <laughs> Parker Brent Polk. Monisha Podell. Caitlin May Raber. Yeah. Chloe Rose Rachel, magna cum laude. Frida Ramirez. Sydney Marie Reyes. Noah Scott Rickman. Julia Lynn Reed Miller, magna cum laude. Julia, Julia. 
Lillian Faith Reynolds. Tyler Stephen Gray Rieselman. Jalen Michelle Riveros. Jennifer Gabriela Riz Hernandez, magna cum laude. Lucas Dale Roden. Bailey Marie Robbins, summa cum laude. Leah Robbins, magna cum laude. Mackenzie Ann Robbins, cum laude. Robert Charles Robbins. Courtney Robinson, cum laude. Kaylee Jean Robinson, cum laude. William Taylor Robinson, the fifth. Joshua Manuel Rodriguez. <laughs> Katrina Elizabeth Rolfson, summa cum laude. <laughs> Olivia Grace Roll. Emily Ann Roman. Alexander James Ross, cum laude. Thomas Jacob Rudabush, cum laude. Braden Lee Runyon, magna cum laude. Megan Elizabeth Rust, summa cum laude. Giovanni Sanchez Silva. Brennan Michael Sanders. Gabriel Lane Scanlon, cum laude. George Maxfield Shepard, summa cum laude. Diploma is being presented by his mother, Katie Shepard, teacher at Fort Wright Elementary. Zachary Joseph Shepherds. Ethan Thomas Schiltz.
Brooke McKenzie Smoll, magna cum laude. Diploma is being presented by her mother, Jennifer Schmoll, faculty at River Ridge Elementary. Jalen Renee Schorsch. Joseph Arthur Schultz. Carson Frederick Schumacher, magna cum laude. Samantha Rose Schwartz, magna cum laude. Maria Lynn Scott. Julius Antoine Scruggs. Kylie Page Sears. Max Jamison Self, summa cum laude. Keith Sellers. Joshua Aiden Sepulveda, summa cum laude. Declan Alexander Sharp. Joanna Elizabeth Singleton, magna cum laude. Miracle Elise Sizemore. <laughs> Warren Matthew Sizemore, cum laude. Diploma is being presented by his mother, Hannah Sizemore, faculty at Dixie Heights. Emma Michelle Sloan, summa cum laude. Darren Blaine Schmitty. Brooklyn Renee Smith, cum laude. Elijah Gianni Smith. James Smith. Leah Smith. Reese Margaret Smith, magna cum laude. Terry Grace Smith. Martin Joseph Snow, summa cum laude.
Josephine Sene Soden. Samil Soil, summa cum laude. Mia Lynn Spicer. Maddie Faye Jean Lynn Jones Sprague, cum laude. Samantha Lynn Spilly. Christina Starshock. Colleen Gwyneth Stasinski, magna cum laude. Diploma is being presented by her father, Joel Stasinski, teacher at Dixie Heights. Ella Lauren Stasinski, magna cum laude. Diploma is being presented by her father, Joel Stasinski, teacher at Dixie Heights. Madeline Rose Stephan, summa cum laude. Finnan Maxwell Steinbrunner. Diploma is being presented by his mother, Stephanie Steinbrunner, teacher at Hinsdale Elementary. Carly Ann Stevens. Julia Michelle Stevens, cum laude. Brayden Cole Stewart. John William Stoneback. Stephanie Mario Stoyanova. Benjamin Charles Strafer, magna cum laude. Dakota Lane Stoltz. Sloan Willow Sturm, magna cum laude. Kaylee McKenna Sullivan. Sage Joseph Savatba. Esmeralda Tapia. Savannah Renee Tebelman, magna cum laude. Alexis Brooke Termini, summa cum laude.
Sylvia Song Thang, summa cum laude. Kaylee Diane Tomas. Blake Harrison Tomas Lopez, magna cum laude. Jennifer Tonche Soto. Owen Carter Townsend, magna cum laude. Brian Jashan Lee Turley. Yaya Ahmed Val. Patrick Connor Valpreda. Ashley Ann Vick. Brendan Rains Vinson. Isabella Josephine Volker, summa cum laude. Kylie Ann Vogelpool, magna cum laude. Diploma is being presented by her mother, Kimberly Vogelpool, teacher at Hinsdale Elementary. <laughs> Serenity Marie Wallington. Alina Pauline Walters. <laughs> Riley Olivia Warner. <laughs> Alexander Scott Warning. Tierra Lynn Watkins, magna cum laude. Trenton Michael Webster. Benjamin Harold Wells, summa cum laude. Matthew Lee White, summa cum laude. Charlie Wilbers. Gavin Cole Williams, magna cum laude. Rania Emily Wolford. Mariah Dawn Wolf, magna cum laude. Sophie Judith Yeager, summa cum laude.
Callie Cherie Young. Victoria Vaughn Dot Z, cum laude. Ethan Daniel Zuziak, cum laude. Let's give a big round of applause for the class of 2023. At this time, I would like to welcome the senior class president, Tierra Watkins, to deliver the farewell. Good evening. Family, friends, faculty, staff, and most importantly, class of 2023. I'm Tierra Watkins, and it has been my honor to be up here sp speaking to all of you on this monumental day as your senior class president. We have all been anxiously waiting for this bittersweet moment. It's the end of a chapter in our lives, but it's also the beginning of an exciting new one full of growth and self-discovery. We're now embarking on our journey of life and finding our purpose and place in this world. But before I give my inspirational notes for the night, I want to say thank you to all of the teachers, staff, and administration here at Dixie Heights. Without their patience, and passion, none of this would have been possible. So please give them a round of applause. <laughs> Truly, you guys have been so amazing and so supportive. You guys go above and beyond when it comes to your students, caring for us and being understanding of our lives outside of school as well as being our biggest supporters and providing guidance to achieve our goals. You're not just teachers and administrators. You make it a point to have relationships with all of the students and care for everyone. Thank you for lending me your ears and wisdom during those days I needed it. I'm forever grateful and I have a heart full of love for Dixie and all the amazing staff within its walls. Senior year has been filled with some lifetime memories some being senior dinner dance when Brennan Sanders body surfed the crowd to Tyler Rieselman's performance, <laughs> the Rihanna halftime performance, pad wrestling with Reed Brixey at our senior fest and totally winning, my weekly news segment, Diversity with T, dancing at the Diversity Walk, the Friday night football games, the riverboat cruise on our final day of school, and bonding with the senior class at all. Now, the real reason I am here. To the class three. I just want to say, wow, we made it. I'm so incredibly proud of every one of you, because tonight is our night to highlight our hard work to where we are now. Remember that two-week break that we got our freshman year. 
that we were so excited for, and then we were quarantined for almost two years doing online school. Let's not forget the monkey scare, the national being masked, Kobe Bryant tragic passing, the haunting nine to our economic inflation. Well, we still haven't overcome that, but there's a way from the bottom. If there is anyone that can overcome adversity, it's us. We succeeded with the unexpected and made it to where we all are now, constantly adapting to our ever-changing world and all the obstacles thrown at us. I wish I could stand here and say that we got through the hardest part give us twists and turns down our paths. Constant trials, ups and downs, joys and tears. But my advice is to be fearless and celebrate your failures more than your success because it could be a secret blessing or the building blocks to your next success. For example, when I moved here two almost I didn't see the things in front of me anxiety and life adversities that I was blind to my potential. With a parent that battled drug addiction and mental health. But I started to I dreamed about my full potential and who I could be despite my challenges. Dreaming has saved my life countless times. No longer dreams. They're now chapters in my story because I enacted and turned them into my reality. Continuing my, I want to tell you guys to embrace every aspect of your dreams. Whatever you want to accomplish or with a determined mind and a progress, come out. my peers. Why didn't I do this or do that? And their responses range from, I'm not good enough to there's no point. Someone else will get it. Well, friends, I'm sad to tell you that your opportunity has walked away from you because fear has taken your will to accomplish. As my fellow classmates, peers, and friends, I want to see this class, class of 2023, soar and change the world, leaving our positive impact and pursuing our dreams, not letting fear hold us back. Last year, I wrote a research paper on mindset the fixed mindset, and the growth mindset. A fixed mindset defined by Dr. Dweck as a fixed mindset comes from the belief that your qualities are carved in stone. Who you are is who you are, period. Whereas a growth mindset means you believe your success depends on time and effort and feel their skills and intelligence can be improved with effort and persistence. What stands in the way of us is oftentimes ourselves, thinking we're not smart enough or born this way, or I've never done that before, so I'm not even going to try it. All of these are fixed mindset thoughts, believing you're stuck and limited. Well, I'm here to tell you the best news of all year. You are all limitless and can achieve anything you put your mind to. Obtaining a growth mindset allows you to progress towards your full potentials. After the physical barriers, you have to face yourself and learn that you can hold yourself back with just a simple way of thinking. The mind is our most powerful tool to our lives, so feed it with motivation and positivity. The, the power to succeed is within everyone's grasp, but we can be blinded by our minds because we're so limited by ourselves to be limitless. So that brings me to my next note for the class of 2023. Embrace your adversity, love your differences, and let them be your motivation and not your defeat. Some of us here have had a rough family, couldn't have a parent or parents attend tonight. Our first generation graduate struggle with mental health, or you're an immigrant completely new to this country and culture. So that goes to say, no matter your race, your economic status, your personal barriers, we all made it and can say that we have a few things in common. 
First, we all carry an invisible luggage that follows us daily, attempting to weigh us down. Next, we all want to love and be loved, so treat everyone with kindness and compassion. You never know what's in their luggage. It's free to love and expensive to hate. Hate costs you peace and energy. Love is free and extremely compensating. So let's be the positive addition to our society and embody love and compassion. You never know what someone could be going through. So love everyone. Stand tall with a beautiful smile and a heart full of love. And lastly, we are all now officially alums of Dixie Heights High School. So please join me in turning our tassels from the right to the left to symbolize our accomplishment and beginning our next steps. Thank you, class of 2023, for this amazing opportunity as your senior class president. I've grown tremendously as a leader and can't wait to achieve my dreams in the world with some of the qualities I've strengthened from this opportunity. Class of 2023, I wish you all the best of luck and infinite abundance and perseverance. With love, your class president, T.
has to go on the trailer before our people leave, okay? Everything's on the trailer, help the percussion rack your stand.